Alex. Um, you dared to be great tonight. It didn't you know, go your way, but it was a very, very close fight. Do you feel that you won, or how did you feel about the scorecards? Ah, look, man, it's a, it was a close fight, so what can you do? I'm the type of person that uh, you know, I could have done more, so I'm going to be harder on myself. You know, a lot of people are uh, probably... You know, a lot of people counted me out, so they're like, oh, hey, wow, like, you know what I mean? But I was never counting myself out. I expected to win, so I'm disappointed. I know I could have done more. I could have capitalised on the things uh, earlier as well. Um, I did think he was going to be stronger. And, I've, you know, I probably could have done more earlier. But anyway, what do you do? Credit to him. Well-rounded, yeah. I uh, underestimated his strike and he underestimated my, my wrestling uh, and stuff like that. So what do you do? Yeah. Mixed martial arts, yeah. We, uh, we, at least we threw it all out there. Yeah, I mean, then that fifth round, like, it was, you know, right there for you. Is that just one of those things if you felt like you had another round or some more time on the Ah, uh, yeah, of course. You know, I felt like maybe I could have done that earlier. Like I said, there was positions where I was like, he's not strong. I even said in my corner, you'll probably uh, hear it. I'm like, oh, he's not strong. Uh, I'm not being a dick. I wasn't being disrespectful. I was just like, oh, he's not strong. But maybe he's baiting me. Maybe he's waiting for me to do something. So I didn't capitalise it uh, straight away, which I should have. And I started realising that later on. I was like, fuck. Excuse my language. Um... Could have done more. And then, like, oh, I, I'm going to try and get him down, you know what I mean? And then uh, we end up getting there, scrambles. I was like, fuck it, let's, let's uh, go all out. I reckon I can uh, do something on top here as well. So I did that. But, you know, maybe I could have done that earlier. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, I'll watch the fight. Um, do some research. But, yeah, it's pretty clear that, uh, you know, I could have won that fight. That's why I'm hard on myself. Did he have you hurt at all at any point? Like some of the I shots hurt, I don't know. Like, you know, uh, yeah, I think I dropped to a knee or something. Like I said, I was there the whole time. So uh, me saying that, you know, wasn't a knockdown wouldn't be fair. But, I mean, I was there the whole time. Like, I think I come back with a punch straight away. Like, um, so, yeah. Again, I'm not uh, going to make excuses when it comes to things like that. Yeah, I was, I was sweet. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, and the last thing for me, uh, I'm sure they'll get into, you know, the fight with Yair and that business. But you did mention in the cage, I'll be back at lightweight. Is it your hope that Islam continues to defend and whenever you come back, he's still the guy there? I watched the fight anyway. I watched the fight and see what it was like. Um, I'm hearing that he were, he was saying, uh, I heard a whisper, I could be wrong, that he was going back to his corner saying he wants a rematch because he thought he lost. So um, that's funny. Uh, I would jump on that. Rematch. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. What would you hear that he wanted a rematch? Who told hey? You, who told you that? that he I don't know. Was it, was it wrong? No, I don't know. I did hear that. Yeah. Whether he said that, like, you know, whether he thought that he might have lost that if it did. I don't know. I just, heard, I just heard that from someone, but I'll watch the fight. We'll see. And you said you, you underrated, underestimated his striking, maybe. What exactly? No, nah, not there? really. Like, uh, <clears throat> obviously, I knew he's got a good eye. Um, yeah, uh, he's got a good eye, so he sees things okay, so he can counter. It's like his feet doesn't uh, function as good as his eye. So it's like his eyes uh, want to do something, like, you know, his punches would do something because he can see it, but then his legs can't keep up. Um, but... Yeah, that was enough to, to land some here and there. So it went too hard. Um, that's why, because he probably wasn't uh, based enough. I shouldn't be telling him uh, these things. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, he still, still landed. So good on him. There was, a good, uh, there was an elbow I ran straight in. I'm like, ah, nice. He's he seen that. Again, he's, he's, his eye's not too bad. He's got a good eye. Uh, his distance isn't too bad. Um, again, I could have capitalised more, man. Uh, even in the, yeah, I guess I was just expecting him to be a little more, bit more relentless uh, in the shots. Um, so maybe uh, held back just a little bit toward the, till the, the last round, I guess. And then we saw you talking to him throughout the entire fight. Yeah. Like even when he had your back, you were talking to him while you were punching. What, yeah. was, was, what were you saying? Was he talking back? Look, again, uh, when you're in positions like that, I'm not being a dick. I'm not being disrespectful. But, you know, it's getting his head. You know what I mean? Like even when he had me, I'm like going, oh, you're not that strong. Like I'll say stuff like that. And then he's there. I'm going, what, you're just hanging on? I'll go, you said uh, 15 seconds. I'm going to, you know, you're going to drag me deep waters. You know, that, that type of stuff. I remember that stuff. I was like, oh, you're just hanging on for dear life. Um, so it's just stuff like, again, I'm not being disrespectful. He's still in a good position, so it's up to me to get out of there. But I'm going to get in his head and just uh, just, kept him, just kept punching him in the head, saying, like, you know, like, I've, yeah. Again, uh, I guess a body lock is a dominant position, so the refs can't just leave, even though he was just hanging on and trying to hide his head. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, so just, just let him know as I go on. Yeah, look at you, like, you know, just trying to survive in, in certain positions. So that was all, all I was saying. I have to ask what you thought of Yair Rodriguez's performance. You obviously said you want to drop back down and unify. He pulled off the submission win over mm -hmm. Josh Emmett. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but of course, yeah, so it was a, a, a good win. Good win by Yair. He looked uh, sharp on his feet. Uh, caught him a couple of times, rocked him a couple of times. And, 
and uh, caught him in the triangle. So uh, I was training at that stage, but um, yeah, good on you. Like I said, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a selfish guy. I'm all about building things up. Now we've got a, now we've got a guy, right? There's a guy uh, in the 45 that, you know what I mean? There's a guy that deserves that shot and it's clear. And that's what I wanted, but we'll, we'll see who, uh, what's happening. Right, so back congratulations to you. Yeah, yeah, or is it yeah? I always say yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. everyone else was saying it wrong. Uh, going back to the, the fourth round where you had your back for ages. Okay, it is a dominant. It was fourth round that one. Yeah. yeah, it is a dominant position. But like you said, it wasn't trying to advance. wasn't really going for submissions. Was just kind of trying to avoid your shots. Is there a length of time where after which the referee should possibly consider separating it? I ain't a ref, so I don't know. Um, if he's trying, I, I don't even think he was trying to go for submissions at that stage because he knew I could just get my head to the side. Like I said, um, yeah, I don't know. Again, it's a, it's, a, it's a strong position. It should always be up to the person. Again, I'm the type of – that's just me, right? Like as a, I, I, you know, I could sit there and be like, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. But for me, I was like, you know, instead of me fucking – which this is how everyone should be. Instead of me trying to blame the fucking ref, I blame myself because I should have got myself out of there, you know what I mean? So – it, I don't know the ref's rules, however that is, but again, I'm more harsh on myself, uh, not not the ref, for things like that. Obviously, in moments in the clinch against the cage, it looked like you were going for the takedown yourself. I'm curious, was that just because you felt, oh, I can do something here? Or was there? No, he was just trying to go for... Um, he was going for position, put himself out of position. Again, I could have got some of those. Man, like, uh, I told you, I'm fucking strong. Like, I'm telling you, I could have uh, definitely got more, more, more takedowns if I really wanted, but... Um, I guess I was seconds guessing myself in, in sort of positions, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It just yeah, they were there, so it's just to let him know he's out of positions. Like, oh, don't fucking think you're just gonna hold me in these positions. Uh, like, I'll yeah, it, ain't, it doesn't it doesn't work like that with me. So as soon as I'll do that and then grab grab the body, like he would like you know, obviously free game, be like, oh shit, I'm out of position. Go sit back and just me letting him know. And um, again, I could capitalize more, but. Well, do you think he's got a bit more respect for Australian wrestling now? I think he does, yeah. But I mean, again. I could have done more. Last one for me. I know you're going to be super hard on yourself and say you could have done more and stuff like that. The, the concept of pound for pound is a weird thing, right? It's like, oh, if you're the same size with your current skill set, who wins that fight? Well, I mean, that's the thing. He put the title on the right line, right? Which is, um, yeah, like we'll fight for his title. But I mean, pound for pound, like, uh, you know, like let's remember pound for pound. It goes a size. And why do you think I was a massive underdog and stuff like that? But at the same time, I expected to win, so I'm gonna sit there and be like, "Oh, he was bigger and all that." I was like, "Yeah, you went up to fucking lightweight, of course." You know, what I mean, oh, that's expected. But pound for pound is a is a funny thing. Um, you know, me going out there and winning would have showed just why you know I'm that pound for pound. You know what I mean? But it's, you can see that I could definitely uh, win that fight. I definitely want that fight back. Is it gonna be hard for you to go? motivate yourself to fight a featherweight when you know Islam's there, he's got the talent, and you know how close you could have been and what you could have done? It's gonna be hard. Nah, look, you know, I, I, yeah, I want that fucking lightweight belt, so. Alex, just over here, just over here. No, on, on I shouldn't have the voice, sorry, mate. <laughs> All good. Or on the strength, uh, and you're saying, like, you know, he wasn't maybe as strong as you expected. I am curious, where does he rank in terms of, like, strongest opponents you face? Because obviously you faced so many in so many different um, divisions. I don't know. Um, it's probably still up there. But I mean, I just, yeah, it's just funny, the, again, the narrative, like, you know, everyone wanted to push this crazy narrative. I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking run with it. it let, him, let you think he's invincible, but it just would have been a so much better story if I won, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, I wish I could just sit there going, hey, this invincible man, you know, you just want to push over? I told you, you know, but right now I'm not in that position. But um, <clears throat> we're close and, uh, again, very winnable fight. I've got to watch the fight back. I, you know, I, I don't know. Again, I'm my hardest critic. I always am. I fucking blow the water out like I win massive fights and I still remember that one time I got hit I still remember that you know one time I didn't get something or you know what I mean that's just how I am you know I'm a I'm very very yeah I'm very very hard, harsh on myself and hard on myself so um I'll be good to watch that fight back and, and just see how it is like what's everyone's thought on that like it was a was it a close fight like what, I don't know it was it was yeah? a yeah very close fight okay so I've got to go watch that back free to either way yeah, I've got to watch that fight back. Fucking rematch, let's go. Where are they? <laughs> so I, I, I guess on that, um, I know one of the narratives, especially like Islam said, look, I want to prove that this guy doesn't belong in the lightweight division, right? Obviously, it's just pre-fight talk, but I wonder, after having such a close fight, 
do you think you've established that you do belong in the lightweight division? Like, obviously, you got me in uh, positions and stuff like that. But, again, some of those is more technique and things like that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it was more that. It wasn't power. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, again, I've got to watch the fight. But, um, yeah, I didn't feel like this freakishly powered like, type of thing, you know what I mean? Obviously, he's got that size advantage and, and things like that. That's going to that's gonna help him a little bit. And, you know, you might feel that little bit of... Um, that weight and like uh, fatigue, I didn't get fatigue, obviously I come back stronger in the end anyway, but there is that, that weight uh, advantage, but I mean to say that I can't handle lightweight is just ridiculous, he's meant to just blow everyone out the water, he was meant to just, uh, as soon as he grabbed me down it was game over, like, I told you that wasn't going to happen, I told you I was going to do more and uh, you, know, uh, you know, I told you I'll get back up, I told you that you know, he won't submit me and all that type of stuff, I was right, but I did say that I was going to come come out with my, my hand raised and we well, very close. It was very a very close fight. People maybe thought I won, but the judges didn't. So uh, I'm very hard on myself right now. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. And Alex, uh, is it to your right? Is it is it motivating or does it sting a little bit more to, to lose that fight on points but finish on top? Oh, nah. Just losing, man. Like uh, losing in general. Uh, I'm a winner. I try and uh, win everything I can, you know what I mean? And, you know, I, I kill myself in the gym to prepare myself uh, to get my hand raised. And, uh, yeah, I expected to be on top or be putting more hands on him and dominating the whole, you know, the whole way through. So, uh, yeah, I'm not happy with just uh, ending up on top. And can I would you just, happy with my hand raised. And can you just put into words uh, the support you've had from Australia this fight week oh, and man. especially tonight? That was incredible. Um, obviously, everyone was still, uh, you know, happy with the fight and, you know, still, uh, you know, obviously giving me the mad cheers and that was, uh, you know, it was good. I was uh, obviously trying to rile them up as well, have a bit of fun with it and just remember I was here, so involve them as well, like letting them know I'm, uh, I'm hearing them and thank them and um, yeah, try and put on a, a bit of a show for them. But it would have just been better getting my hand raised in front of them too, you know what I mean? So, uh, again, their support's been crazy. You know, look at the, the weigh-ins and the press conferences and all that type of stuff, though, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't happen much. You know, we have to take us, all, all the fighters backstage so we can open the curtains further back so we can fit more people in. And, you know what I mean? It's, uh, so, obviously, it, it went beyond what, what people were expecting. So, shout-out to the Aussie fans uh, for delivering. G'day, Alex. Over here, mate. Great performance. Over just here, mate. Mm. Hey. Uh, look, obviously, uh, 145. How you going, mate? How you going, mate? 145 defence is next, clearly, and then uh, maybe the rematch with Islam. But if that doesn't line up for the title shot, are you willing to maybe jump into 155 and fight guys like, you know, Dustin Poirier, Charles, quick, Michael Chandler, these types? Quick turnaround for the rematch? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see, man. Again, I need to watch the fight. I need to talk to some people and... Again, right now, I just come out. I'm hard on myself. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I've got, I got to look and, and see what's happening. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But obviously, we got, you know, when I go to featherweight, we know who it is. You know what I mean? And, again, shout out for Yair Rodriguez. I think that's an exciting fight. Uh, so, uh, good on him. And also, I think the great thing about this sport compared to, say, boxing is a loss doesn't always detract from your star power. So, you, did, you come up short today a little bit, but I reckon your stock has risen even higher than it's ever been. So do you feel that? And just you've really proven that you really are even better than we thought you were. Oh, man, it's a... Uh, again, that's everyone else's expectations, right? Um, I expected to win. Uh, obviously, uh, people are proud of uh, how that went, but I, I expected to go out there and, and win um, and, and dominate, and you know what I mean? And again, it was good. Obviously, still proud of myself. I uh, still proved a lot of people wrong, right? But, I mean, I didn't get my hand raised. So, again, I'm, I'm going to be hard on myself. I watched the fight back and, you know, maybe they'll make me feel a little bit better. But, yeah, it sucks. Go, go off. Oh. Alex, just over here, man. I'm just wondering, did you get a chance to say anything to Islam or his team after words in the back when you were in the back or anything? Oh, man, like, you know, I'm, we're both respect, respectful dudes. I'm a respectful dude. I went over, they said, congratulated him. Um, obviously, they... Again, I think they really thought that I was going to be a walk in the park. So they were like, yeah, shocked faces. But I mean, again, like, you know, I expected them to be shocked. I expected to see his face like I did out there. And um, yeah, I just wish I got my hand raised, man. 
last thing, Alex, to end it kind of on a high. Uh, the walkout was one of the greatest things I've ever seen, you know, covering combat sports. Were you able to embrace that moment for what it was, or were you so dialed in that it... No, no, look, uh, that's the, I've come to... If you remember me, the first time I was like fighting in Australia and all that type of stuff, I was always just... Uh, I'm the type of guy, I was just a competitor. Right now, I... I fucking love it all, mate. Like, you know what I mean? The, the build-ups, the, the, the entertainment side of thing. I get it. You know, I get it now. I, you know, I want the crowd to feel me. I want to feel the crowd. Um, I fight best when I'm uh, with, with that energy, when I'm a little emotional and stuff like that, you know, and you've seen that in some of my last fights to really fire myself up. Um, I do my best work there. So uh, it was good. I definitely uh, felt them. Um, yeah, it just, uh, fuck, it could have been a moment, man. You know what I mean? Go there, imagine getting a big finish, prove them doubters wrong in Australia. Fuck, what a moment, uh, you know. Fuck! It's still a great moment. It's still a good moment, anyway. Uh, again, the support's been incredible. Shout out to everyone uh, that's here, uh, that, uh, that you know, supported the, the event, the pay-per-view, and shout out to everyone that was watching. Um, and sorry to... People that counted on me. Cheers.